we are moving on into bytes. So let's go ahead and get started. How many bits are in three bytes? Well, three bytes. And again, I'm just gonna use a, a capital B for bytes and a lowercase b for bits. Three bytes. Well, one byte is eight bits. So we're going to have three times eight equals 24 bits. Okay, it's just multiplication. You know how to do this, I promise. Three bytes, 24 bits, moving on. Which of the following is a single byte of digital information? Now again, the vital thing to remember is that a byte is exactly eight bits. That's the important thing, okay? So let me look at these. A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we found it right away. A has eight bits, eight zeros or ones. So it is one byte. And again, because I only had two left, let's go ahead and do a few more examples in the bytes topic. And I'm gonna leave that byte equals eight bits thing up there until we're done. Consider this sequence of bits. How many bytes long is that sequence of bits? So the way I do this on Khan Academy um, is I highlight them so that I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is one byte. Yeah, starting from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two bytes. This looks like it's gonna be three, but I'll go ahead and count it out anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my third byte. There are three bytes in that sequence of bits. When writing binary data, we often put a space between each byte to make it easier for humans to read. Consider this binary data. Which choice puts the space after each byte? So it's asking us which one is, is, is splitting up the sequence into eight or into groups of eight. Well, let's see. A is wrong because it splits it into groups of two. I think it's probably B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is three bytes with each byte separated a little bit. Too few, too many. How many bits are in four bytes? Well, once again, a byte is eight bits, four times eight. Well, how would you do that in your head? I would do eight times two, which is 16, and then times two again, which is 32. However, you may find at some point that memorizing the first 10 or 12 powers of two might be useful to you. We will talk about that more when we talk about binary numbers. For now, in four bytes, there are 32 bits. Which of the following is a single byte of digital information? Again, we're looking for the one that has eight bits, eight ones or zeros in a string. Uh, is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's not that one. I think it's probably E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. And that is bytes. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will try to get to them as fast as I can. Thank you for watching.